Chelsea Siciliano and I teach fifth and sixth grade and we just saw Kids for Kindness with Mark Beckwith and it was absolutely fantastic. It was age appropriate. The kids loved it. Even though there were puppets involved, uh, he, Mark does such a great job making sure that it's appropriate for the upper elementary school grades and the kids were completely engaged and laughing and had a blast. So I highly recommend his show. Oh, that's a picture of Ruff. What's Ruff doing? Blasting. <laughs> No, what are you posting? It's just a joke. No, no, not even as a joke. If you if you post it, somebody might repost it. And somebody else might repost it. You can't take it back. It's there forever. If a boy were new at school, you could make his day. All you do is include him by asking him to play. Repeat this. Be kind. Be kind. Be kind. Be kind. Then I'll do to be kind. Be kind. Winnie's parents didn't have a lot of money, so she rarely bought new clothes. She mostly had to wear her older sister's clothes, and she wore those for a very long time. Some kids made fun of Winnie about her freckles, about her clothes, about her name. So nicknames can be fun, friendly, but sometimes they can be unfriendly. My last name is Beckwith, and when I was 13 years old, a kid in school started calling me Becky. And because my teeth were a little big for my face, another kid started calling me Bucky. And another kid called me Bucky, and another kid called me Bucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah! Hi, I'm Corinne McIntyre, and I teach first grade, and my kids absolutely love the show. They were laughing and smiling and talking about it all the way back to class. Backward, 